good morning. I'm getting ready to head out of town and I'm going to go to the beach today. I'm going with my roommate because she's having a bachelorette party at the beach. So that should be fun. But before I leave, I've been trying to clean out my refrigerator so none of my fruit and vegetables go bad before I get back. And one of the things I still had in my fridge that I've been munching on for a little bit was my coconut. So I looked up a recipe or several recipes for coconut milk and um, I forgot to pull them out before I started making them. But I'm kind of doing my best to make some coconut milk so I can keep my coconut from going bad while I'm gone. But this is my attempt. This is boiling water that was added to coconut shavings or um, chunks of coconut that was blended. So now I'm about to strain it and see if I can get some coconut milk off of it. Usually people use a cheesecloth for this, but I don't have one. I do have an old t-shirt. Well, it's clean. It's not like used. Um, a clean t-shirt that I'm going to use to strain this milk. Um, this coconut milk. So here's what's been blended all up and you can see some of the boiling water with the coconut in it. So I'm going to see if I can squeeze it all out and get the coconut milk. There we go. There's some coconut milk coming out. Okay, so after squeezing my coconut, I got this. And now it's starting to separate. I don't know if this is the like coconut oil and then the water that I used or if this is all coconut milk, but I have to do some research. Okay, so I made my coconut milk and apparently it's supposed to separate. Um, now I'm just going to put this coconut milk in the fridge and it's supposed to keep for four to five days. So um, it should be good by the time I get back still and hopefully I'll be able to try a new recipe with it. Now that I'm done making coconut milk, I took the rest of the shavings um, that I ground all up to make the coconut milk and I decided to toast them. So they've been in, this, in my toaster oven. They're pretty dense. I think next time I'll do it, I'll probably do this in the oven where they're all spread out. They'll go way quicker. But they've been in the oven for about 25, 30 minutes. I've been stirring them ever so often. Um, and they've been for about, about 400 degrees. And so anyway, hopefully I can somehow incorporate that into a recipe when I get back too and use all the parts of the coconut. I've used the water now, made coconut milk, just chewed on, you know, ate some of the coconut, and now I'll have some toasted nut coconut toasted coconut to work with. Here we are somewhere in Alabama and it's taken us about two hours to get down. We didn't end up leaving until a little after 10 but we are headed on our way to the beach still. Hopefully we'll be able to stop for lunch soon. Right now we're making a pit stop at, at McDonald's. And I just want to say that I really like and appreciate Starbucks's com customer service. We ended up going through the drive through on our way over to um, head out of Atlanta and we were in this line forever and it took um, a really long time to get our drink but by the time we got up to the window they just gave it to us for free because we had um, had such an inconvenient time waiting for our drink so that was really cool. Okay we're stopping for lunch at Arby's now. So I got the French stuff. Mm -hmm. new Arby's. I haven't been to Arby's in a long time but apparently they have all sorts of great sauces. So I went with the spicy three pepper in honor of Alex and then I mixed that in with some horsey sauce the horseradish mixed in with the roast beef and it was very good. Apparently she's testing to see how much gas is in that tank. Oh, okay. Um... Looks low to me. Very snazzy little jacket. We just stopped at McDonald's for another pit stop on the way down to Destin, um, but we uh, I got a milkshake, and we we got one of the new, what's it called? Uh, s'more a pie. S'more, s'more pie. We got a s'more pie and tried that, so we each took got to take a small bite of it, but I would not recommend it. It was uh, very dissatisfying. The chocolate wasn't real chocolate. It was more like that pudding pie chocolate. I guess the marshmallow part was good, but still when it was the pie crust, it was just... It had a very artificial taste to it. Yeah. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> kind of like pop tarty, but yeah. It was worth trying it for a dollar. It was a dollar. Yeah. The three of us each had a bite. It, it was, was a good fun. experiment. Uh-huh. So. Not one I need to repeat, though. But I'm glad I got my milkshake. That, that makes it worth it. I agree. We're only 14 miles away. Yeah, well, like, my whole thing kind of took about the place that I want to go back to. That's cool. On the bridge, headed to Destin. Woo! Makes me feel like home. Like uh, going down to St. George Island and stuff. Going over the bridge and seeing all the water. Okay, now. Oh, for the record, we have an afternoon.
aftertaste, the not super pleasant aftertaste of the s'more pie 20 minutes later. So, still a veto on the s'more pie. <laughs> Look how crafty Amanda is. She made us all these beautiful <laughs> bridesmaid <laughs> wine glasses. She's so good. Well, now that we've made it to Destin, we got all settled into our little condo, and it's very cute. Tiffany did a good job picking it out. Um, but we're headed off to a Mexican restaurant. So, apparently, the sidewalk runs out right here. So, while we were trying to walk, we're now going to have to find a new path. Uh, well, we, we know, uh, I we know walk it's that way, but we don't know what side of the street. I wouldn't even walk through that. No, you're going to fall in. Y'all, let's just go back and get the car. <laughs> I guess so. Or if you want, a couple people can stay here and... That's probably Marshall. Yeah. Right, yeah. Let's go walk back. Hi! Let me try. I'm so glad we didn't oh, well. take a walk. It was a really pretty walk. We saw the raccoon <laughs> and an osprey <laughs> and blue heron. Dead sea mud facials, anyone?